So if you're someone that wants to sell on Amazon and you want to use Alibaba.com when it comes to finding a supplier, in today's video, I'm going to go through these four most important things that you need to be aware of, which is product research, knowing how to navigate Alibaba, also knowing how to contact the best suppliers and the key things that you need to know when it comes to importing the inventory into your country. These are the main things that I needed to know when it came to me starting my e-commerce business and using Alibaba.com. I've been using Alibaba now for the past seven, eight years. So I'm sure that I'm definitely gonna be able to point you in the right direction when it comes to helping you understand how to start your Amazon business and how to pick the best products to sell. So as always, I don't wanna waste any more time and I wanna get right into it. If you enjoyed this video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so jumping straight into it and starting off with product research. Now, when it comes to finding a winning product to sell specifically on Amazon, there's a few things that you need to be aware of that differ from other e-commerce platforms. Whether you're looking to build a dropshipping business on Shopify or maybe you're looking to sell on eBay, you're gonna to have to do a couple of different things so that you can find the best product that's going to increase your chances of success. And there's various different methods when it comes to finding a winning product to sell, and there's so many different product research tools that are out there, but the software that I normally recommend to beginners is Helium 10, and this is for so many different reasons, and I'm gonna show you exactly why right now. So I've just logged into my Helium 10 account, and when it comes to me trying to find a new winning e-commerce product to sell, the place that I go to is tools over here. Then what I do is come over to the product research section and click on black box. Then from this point, what you need to do is click on advanced. Now, one of the first things that you need to make sure that you do is select whichever Amazon marketplace that you're gonna be selling on. But for the purposes of today's video, I'm gonna leave it on the US one, which is amazon.com. And as you can see, you're gonna be presented with all of these different filters. Now you don't need to insert information into all of them, but there's specific ones that you do need to enter something into for you to get the best chances of finding a winning product. So starting off with this filter over here, which is category and subcategories, over here, what you need to do is select the product groups that you know that you want to build an e-commerce business around. So for example, I like to sell products when it comes to baby items because it's an evergreen item, similar with the pet category too. I'm just going to select that. And I also like to sell items when it comes to electronics. So there's all of these different filters that you can select, but I'm just going to leave it as baby products and pet supplies for now. The next filter is review count. Now for this one, I'm going to insert 100. And the reason why I'm putting 100 into review count is because if you're able to find a product that doesn't have more than 100 reviews, and it also meets these other criteria that I'm gonna set in a moment, that means that you know that you might be able to sell it yourself because there's not that much competition. But I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean a little bit later on in this video. But moving on to the next filter, which is shipping size. For this one, I like to select small standard size. And for the weight, I like to make sure that it's no more than three pounds. Because of course, when it comes to selling physical products, ideally you wanna make sure that the product isn't heavy it isn't bulky because it's going to end up costing you more money when it comes to postage. Moving on to the next filter, which is price. Now for this one, I'm going to set it at minimum $15 and maximum $100. Reason being is because you don't want to sell an item that's really, really cheap because you're not going to be able to make any profit. And if it's too expensive, it's going to end up costing you a lot of money when it comes to you sourcing the product from Alibaba. So from my experience, I normally find this to be a decent range when it comes to selling physical products on the internet. And one of the final filters that I tend to set is the monthly revenue. Now for this one, I wanna make sure that the product is generating minimum $10,000 in a single month. Because if the product is able to make $10,000 in a month and it also meets all of these other criteria, lightweight, and it doesn't have that many reviews, and it's also from a category that I want to build my e-commerce business around, then I know my chances of being able to make $5,000 in a month, $6,000 in a month is gonna be slightly higher. So now that I've set all of these different filters, the next thing that I'm gonna do is click on search over here. All right guys, so as you can see, Helium 10 has been able to come back with all of these different winning products that meet my criteria. And one of the first things that I do is sort the revenue from highest to lowest. And as you guys can see over here, this product was able to bring in 800,000, this one 42,000, 36,000, so on and so forth. But one of the key things that I look out for is the reviews. So as you can see, this product only has 
14 reviews, but it was able to bring in over $42,000 in a single month. So now that I know that this product doesn't really have that much competition and they're able to bring in so much money, what I'm gonna do is just click into it just to get a better look. Okay, so this is the product right here. It's a waterproof air tag case for dogs. Now, I don't know exactly what this product is, but it's obviously successful for the fact that they've only got 14 reviews, but they're able to bring in so many sales. So the next thing that I'm gonna do from this point is to see exactly how much money is being spent on this particular product. And the way that you do that is by going over to Amazon just like this and typing in the name of the product that you're searching for. And because I've already installed the Helium 10 Google Chrome extension tool, all I need to do is just click into it just like this. Then click on X-Ray Amazon product research. And as you guys can see right here, over $750,000 has been spent on this product in the last month alone. So that's basically what I do when it comes to identifying winning products to sell on Amazon. And this is what I wanted to show you guys before I move over to the next thing that you need to know, which is understanding how to navigate alibaba.com when it comes to sourcing the product that you found. And if you did wanna sign up to Helium 10, you're gonna be able to use the link in my description down below. And if you use that link, you're gonna be able to get a discount, which is gonna be up to 20% off. And you're also gonna be able to get a seven day money back guarantee if you're not happy with it. So make sure that you use the link in my description down below so that you can sign up to Helium 10 so that you can go away and find a winning product that's gonna start earning you money. But moving on to the second thing that I wanna show you guys, which is knowing how to navigate alibaba.com. Of course, first things first, you need to go over to the homepage just like this. And for those of you that don't know exactly what alibaba.com is, it's basically a directory with various different suppliers all around the world. Majority of the suppliers are going to be based in China, but you're gonna be able to find suppliers in Turkey, in various different parts of Asia, but I've mainly used it when it comes to finding Chinese-based suppliers. And it's a very simple website to navigate because all you need to do is enter the keyword for the product that you're looking to source into this search bar over here. So the product that we're searching for today that I'm showing you guys as an example is AirTag Dog Collar Holder, and then I'm gonna click on search. So as you can see, you're gonna be presented with multiple different products from multiple different suppliers. And when it comes to navigating alibaba.com, there's a couple things that you need to be aware of when it comes to finding the best supplier. One of the first things that you're going to look out for is the amount of years the supplier has been there. You wanna make sure that they've been there for more than five, six, seven years, because the more years that they've been on alibaba.com, the less issues you're gonna have with them. You also wanna make sure that they're verified because if they are verified, that means that a third party audit company went to the factory, went to the office to make sure that they're a real supplier. So by making sure that they are verified, you're essentially reducing your chances of being scammed. And one of the final things that I tend to look out for is to make sure that the supplier that I'm gonna go with specializes in the items that I'm looking to sell. So for example, in this case, it's a pet related item. So if I'm gonna go with a supplier, I don't want them to sell random items from various different categories. I would prefer them to sell products within that one category because of course, that means that they're expertise and their quality is gonna be a lot better than a general supplier. And the way that you can check that is by clicking on the name of their company just like this, going over to products and seeing exactly what type of products they sell. So as you can see, this supplier does mainly focus on selling pet items because I can see it right here, it says dog, dog, pet, etc. But now that you know exactly what you need to do when it comes to navigating Alibaba and finding the best suppliers, what you now need to do is start contacting those suppliers. And for this part of the process, what you're going to need to do is have a pre-written email that you're going to copy and paste to all of your chosen suppliers. So as you can see, this is the email that I've pre-written here as an example. And I'm just gonna go through the most important points of the email, if you wanna pause it right now so that you can read through all of it, you can. But the main questions that I tend to ask every supplier is whether they accept PayPal, because if they do accept PayPal, that means that they're less likely to be a scammer because PayPal doesn't necessarily open accounts for scammers. So this is a good indication to know that you're going with a good supplier. Another question that I ask is if they accept trade assurance. Now, trade assurance is Alibaba.com's payment method. And the way that it works is that you're going to send the money to the supplier and Alibaba is going to hold it in escrow, which means that they're not going to release the money to the supplier until you've confirmed that you received the goods. So this is the payment method that I use nowadays when it comes to me sending funds to any supplier on Alibaba. 
The third question that I ask them is the delivery timeline. I want to know exactly how long it's going to take for me to receive the products now. And I also want to know exactly how long it's going to take when it comes to me reordering more stock in the future. Because this is a great way for you to decide on using any one supplier that gets back to you. Because if one gets back to you and says that it's going to take a month for you to receive the products, but another one says they're going to be able to get the products to you within a week and a half, then of course you're going to go with the one that's going to get the products to you a lot faster. So that's the reason why I asked that question there. And finally, I want to find out their supplier type, which is something I spoke about already, which is knowing if they focus on the products that I'm looking to sell. So those are the main questions that I ask. I also want to find out the cost of it in terms of the shipping. And I always like to start off with around 10, 15, 20 pieces of a particular product when I'm using a new supplier. The mistake that you wanna avoid is ordering 100 pieces, 200 pieces from a brand new supplier because you haven't tested their quality, you don't know if the product is going to arrive in the condition that you expect it to arrive. So it's always good to start off with a lower amount. But as I already said, you can pause the video, read through the entire email, just so that you have a full understanding of exactly what I'm asking and why I'm asking it. But once you've now written out your email, all you need to do is just copy it just like this. Come back over to alibaba.com and make sure that you're looking at the images for the actual item that you're looking to sell. So in this case, this one looks very similar to the winning product that's on Amazon right now that we found earlier. And when it comes to contacting the supplier, you're gonna be able to do that by clicking on contact supplier over here. You can also do a live chat with them by clicking on this option that I do from time to time. But what I tend to do is just click on contact supplier just like this. It's then gonna take you to a page that looks just like this. And what you need to do is just paste the email in there just like that. And of course, guys, this is just an example. I'm not gonna say their supplier's name. I'm gonna put their actual name. I'm gonna put my name, but I'm just showing you this as an example. But once you have made sure the email's correct, you've checked the spelling, the grammar, what you're going to do is just click on send inquiry. Then it's gonna be a simple case of you just scrolling through and looking for every single supplier that meets your criteria. And you're gonna do the exact same thing, paste the exact same email. Then you're gonna simply sit back and wait for all the replies to come through. You're gonna compare the prices. You're gonna compare the speed of how they got back to you. Did it take four days, five days? You're gonna compare various different things for you to pick the best supplier for you. And once you do start getting replies from all of the different suppliers and you've now made a decision on which one you're gonna go with, you're then gonna be in a situation where you now need to start importing the inventory into your country. Now for this part of the process, there's a lot that goes into it. You need to understand how import taxes work. You also need to make sure that you've done your return on investment calculations to make sure that you're gonna get profit. And you also need to decide on if you're gonna go down the route of doing Amazon FBA, which is fulfilled by Amazon, or if you're gonna do Amazon FBM, which is fulfilled by Merchant. Now, if you want me to make a more detailed video going through this part of the process for you, then put in the comments down below, do the Amazon video, and I'll get onto it ASAP. But if you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to press the like button. It really helps out the channel in a big way, and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well and hit the bell notification. And if you wanna sign up to my completely free email newsletter where every single week, I'm gonna send you an email when it comes to helping you with your online business, whether it's an email about selling on Amazon, building an e-commerce business, doing dropshipping, doing affiliate marketing, whatever the case is, you're gonna receive an email from myself to help you on your money-making journey. So you're gonna be able to sign up for that for completely free by clicking the first link in the description down below. And if you also wanted to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I break down some other important things that you need to know when it comes to selling on Amazon, then make sure you click the link right there. Check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and I'm sure that it's gonna help you out too. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.